what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? New York Mayor Bill de Blasio has given some instructions to the residents of New York. He says that he wants them to snitch on fellow New Yorkers if they catch them not social distancing or they walk into a supermarket and it's too crowded, if they see anybody partying, if they're hanging out in the park in droves, he says he wants them to <laughs> he wants them to take a picture <laughs> and send it to the city. <laughs> Boy, this is next level snitching. I don't think that it's safe to go outside yet. And I mean, like, as far as going outside and continuing uh, a sense of normalcy that we had pre-coronavirus. I don't think we're there yet. New York has shown some signs of improvement over the last seven days. Their numbers of coronavirus victims, uh, both uh, being infected with the virus and dying from the virus, has steadily gone down over the last seven days. So New York is doing pretty good. As you know, New York is the epicenter of the coronavirus here in the United States. So they're doing good. Still and yet, the mayor, he's saying we're not out of the woods and he wants people to be careful. He's also asking Donald Trump, your president, for some bread. He said, we need money, man. We need money for more masks. We need money for ventilators. We need paper. And of course, Trump is sitting on the bread because he ain't doing nothing unless he can get something out of it. He don't like the fact that Bill de Blasio is defiant. You know, Trump likes everybody to kiss his ass. And if they don't kiss, they don't bow down and kiss his ass or at least kiss the ring like Kanye, he's not going to be with it. Kanye West. Boy, that boy love Trump, don't he? That boy love Trump. I told you once, I'll tell you again. I bet you anything, if Kanye had an opportunity, he dropped down and sucked Donald Trump up. I'm telling you. Never seen a man all over a man like that before. You know? I, I'm, I wasn't raised like that. Strange, strange behavior. But anyway, back on topic. Family, if the mayor in your city asks you to take a picture of people who are breaking the social distancing rule and upload that picture to the city, would you do it? What about for your life? I look at it like saving lives. You know, if you saw somebody, you know, look, if you saw uh, a gang of people getting ready to start stabbing folks, would you let the police know? I'm not playing with this coronavirus thing, man. I think it's very, very real. And all of these people who are talking about getting back out. And I know, I heard somebody say, well, Willie D, that's easy for you to say. You got your money. I'm just telling you, like, I care more. I only got one life to live, so I just wouldn't gamble it. I wouldn't gamble my life like that. I, it's just, money is important, but it is never, I'm telling you. And I, I let a lot of money go when I was broke and I needed money. But money has never been that important to me. See, money don't make me. I make money. I've always had that attitude. 
I could have a whole lot more than what I have if I had, you know, just compromised my integrity, uh, just, just, you know, didn't care about certain things. I could have a lot more. So I've passed money up when I was broke. I mean, I needed that money. Or when the money wasn't as good and I needed that money, but I passed it up. And I mean, it's kind of like when you think about something along the lines of making a move and you know if you make that move, it's gonna come back on you and put your life in jeopardy. Some of y'all street people know what I'm talking about. So I ain't gotta spell it out. If you can't read between the lines, that statement wasn't for you. But what do you say? And what exactly is the role of Americans to protect other Americans and themselves besides quarantining? If you go out into the public and you see people acting a fool like they were doing in Michigan, now you got people tripping in New York, there's people tripping in, I think it was New Hampshire, a lot of these Trump supporters, they're protesting. If they tell us to stay in the house for the next couple of months or so, and the bodies don't stack up, I say we get on out there. However, if the bodies begin to stack up, I say we lay low and take bets on what the final count is gonna be. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.